Part of our identity in South Africa as well is coming to terms with sexuality. So I included a section that relates as well to the image formation and identity formation of gay people. So for example, Dean Hutton's work, talking about Stabani, gay, Morphe, different terms for gay people taken from the gay pride. And then alongside that, Richard Stradom's work over here with the artificial scars of being a young Afrikaans gay man. Chris Diedrichs's identity coming through in this incredible linocut print as well. And then the piece that, again, the Americans found very, very fascinating is Wayne Barker's piece because it's such a complex image. Firstly, it's made of beads. So it's an incredibly technically well-made piece of work with a lot of challenge to it. His starting point for it was, first of all, a bit of a homage to the African art within the Western canon. So he started off by taking a traditional landscape, as one would see a PNF, like you have at the Standard Bank Gallery at the moment, that traditional thing. So paying homage to the father of the landscape in South Africa. Again, then going in a little bit closer to the colonization, the typical Lutheran church that was part of the bigger colonization process, particularly in the Cape. Heads like this you might recognize from the kind of Brancusi-esque thing. So starting to have a reference point to Western art traditions. Again, through the African repeated column, which is something that Brancusi used, making more reference. Then, the abstract expressionism, the splotches and dots and marks that are made on the surface, becomes another reference point for that. But for me, what is most fascinating is this figure here because that is a conscious commentary on the way that black women in particular were depicted in the 50s, 60s, 70s in magazines, particularly international magazines, where it was quite fine to go to a rural village and photograph women with their breasts out and send it to America, to send it to Europe and what have you. No consideration for the person, but the object. So this makes quite a strong statement about different art and portrayal methods in there.